Hello YouTube, Science Freak 500 here again, uh, this time to show you how to get started with Android development. Um, this will just be a setup video because um, when I was looking around on the Unreal Engine forums, I found that a lot of people were asking about Android development with Unreal Engine 4. So I wanted to make this little video to clarify a couple things and also show you some problems that I ran into. Alright, let's get started. First thing you need to do um, well, you just create a new um, uh, a new game of whatever type you're trying to do. Um, so the way the way that I did it um, is I did the 2D side scroller because most Android games are um, they're 2D in nature. Um, the phones right now cannot really handle 3D. 2D most can anyways. Um, go down here and select mobile so that it so that um, Unreal knows what you're doing. Also um, make it scalable. By making it scalable it allows it uh, compatibility for multiple devices instead of just the maximum quality so it's better to do that. And then you can choose whether to include starter content or not. Uh, I just recently created this or by the way 2D side scroller. I just recently created this and I named it mobile game as you can see on the top right hand corner so that's what we'll be working with here now <clears throat> if you start developing with this and you click on this arrow right above the iOS support you'll see an Android support link if you click that it'll give you instructions on whether to do it since I already have it all set up for my computer this link is gone now and I'm left with my actual Android device um, so uh, so it's not there anymore but I'll post the link on the description of this video so the next thing you want to do is go to um, there's a specific file that you need to download if you were doing previous Android development you most likely have this it's essentially the Android SDK um, but you can find it in the Unreal folder through this means if you download it from either the um, that uh, Unreal Engine launcher from their website or just from the website alone. If you downloaded the Unreal Engine through GitHub, it's it's a little bit different, and you could probably just search for it. But essentially, it's uh, C program files, Unreal Engine whatever version that you're working with, so I'm working with the most recent one, 4.8, uh, Engine, Extras, Android, and it's this one. Uh, it should be the only one there. Once you double click that, it'll go through an installation instructions, and I have it posted right here. So, these are the installation. It's a pretty standard Windows installation but you basically just next accept the agreement this is just some information um, I chose Express you can choose custom if you know what you're doing but Express worked perfect for me so um, then uh, the installation directory it should be already set to this but in case it's not make sure it's set to C NV pack then um, well I'll just give you a description. If you're using a proxy for your internet, add it here. Otherwise, you can just leave it alone. Uh, and this next step is actually going to download the SDK. So this, for me, I think took like maybe 15 minutes. Um, it is a pretty big file, so make sure you have enough space for that. Um, next, it's going to actually install what it just downloaded. Um, the installation for me took maybe seven minutes, approximately. It might it might take longer. It depends on your system. Uh, and then after the installation, it just kind of verifies the information and done. So it's pretty simple in that way. Uh, the next thing you need to do is uh, go onto your phone and make sure that your phone is in developer mode. Um, and there's ways to do it. I'm going to be showing you how to do it for the um, Samsung Galaxy 5S because um, that's the one I have. Otherwise you can just look online on how to get develop the developer windows on there. 
because you need to enable USB debugging. So here we are. All right. Uh, to enable the developer console on your phone, uh, what you need to do is, or this is the Samsung Galaxy S5, by the way. Uh, what you need to do is go down, go up to settings, um, and scroll to where you see um, the information. So about device. Let me click that. Scroll down some again until where you see build number, and you want to poke that seven times. When you do that, it will say down here um, that the developers is thing the yeah, sorry the developer uh, window is now enabled so just go back and you'll see right here now the developer options has appeared when you click that uh, should be enabled if you want to turn on USB debugging uh, this is just a little warning saying that it's for development only but you're a developer so click OK and there's other cool little things in here, like if you want to see your uh, your touches, you can press that. Or if you want to do some debugging lo location-wise on your phone, you can enable show point location. And I don't know if you see on my screen right now, but there's some other information that appears, uh, so on and so forth. So those are just little other tools that having the developer pane open will allow you to do. It's pretty nice, but once you do that, uh, just make sure that your USB is plugged in to your computer and you're good to go. Okay, after you do that, now um, you need to make sure that it is actually linking with your computer, because once you enable the USB debugging mode, um, you need to essentially establish the link with the computer so that Unreal Engine now knows that it exists. So, to do that, um, plug the phone in. Mine's already plugged in. Um, plug the phone in by USB to your computer. And open up the command prompt. So type in CMD. And you're going to use ADB. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Just had to make sure. ADB devices. When you type that in, if everything's working properly, you should see uh, this, well, your number, which stands for your phone. Um, after you do this, the link has been established from computer to phone, and you're good to go. You can just close that. Now, after doing all those steps, you should now see uh, that you're able to actually select devices. However, you're most likely going to get an error and that's because of two things. One, you need to set up information on um, or within your um, project settings. So if you go down to where it says Android, notice how this project is not, configure, or not configured for the Android platform. Uh, once you hit configure, you can set up some information for both of these. Um, and really, the main information that, that you need is right here, um, the package name, which I guess is not totally important, so you can just, I don't know, tutorial.game, um, version number, you can leave that, um, you can choose to do landscape or portrait view, set to landscape. Um, extra settings, if you pull it over here, you don't really need to worry about these. Um, the key store, this is stuff that you also need to add. Um, so you need to add, like, I don't know, my game. Uh, and the key store password, it can be whatever you want. Example. then if you want to include Google Play support, you can go ahead and just edit these options right here. But you need to do it for Android, and then SDK, you need to make, sh make sure that each one of these things paths to the proper area inside NVPack. 
So I already configured this part here. Um, so if you just take a moment, uh, pause the video, and make sure that a lot of these are uh, matching or identical to how I have it here. Um, because this is important, it will not compile without having it link to that uh, Android SDK. So pause the video, take a moment. All right. Um, <clears throat> so after you have that set up, everything is mostly finished. There was one error that I encountered. Let's see if I encounter it here. And I'll show you the workaround. If you click on that and you go to devices, you notice down here that it is um, trying to run. And if you show the output log, you can see it actually compiling, trying to run the file. And it crashed. And the reason why is because if you're running Windows, I'm running Windows 8. Um, so if you're running like Windows 8 or something like that, you need to make sure that Unreal Engine is in administrator mode. And you can do that either by right clicking on the thing and, you know, doing with administrator. Or if it doesn't necessarily work for you like this, then you can open up the task manager. Um, and inside the task manager with Unreal Open, right click, go to Open File Location, and then uh, right click on the uh, UE4 editor here, run as administrator, and then just close this one. And as soon as you run, ad admi run it as, ad as uh, administrator, it should work. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And then this can be closed. I have a problem with my launcher, so that's gonna. But anyways, now it should work. So just click this. By the way, my phone is plugged in because what it's doing is it's compiling the game then it's deploying it to the phone so as soon as it's all done uh, you'll see on the phone that um, the, your game is there and it's like an installed app on the phone. Um, so you can use that for just debugging or for uh, tr testing out your game to see the functionality and then you can actually begin the development phase but this process may take a little while. I'm going to just skip forward until it's all done. Okay, so it says launch complete on the bottom. And now, or just to show you a couple things, um, I should say down here... I saw it earlier. Yeah, well you can look at the debug. Um, oh. <laughs> it's right here. So after it's uh, it's all done, actually um, compiling the package, it'll push it to the phone and launch it. And so on your phone, you'll see that the game that you just created is running. I'll show you what it looks like. And the final result. So, looks familiar? So, uh little character running around doing what he does and you can even allow him to jump that's kind of bad sorry that it's kind of hard to see ah, that's better anyways so um, you can then just test out the functionality of your game and see how it goes and basically with the Android development you're just transferring between the engine to the phone and constantly testing and using just your standard development procedures in order to get what you want. Alright, and that's it. So if you have any questions, um, please feel free to leave it in the comments. Um, like and subscribe to the channel for more tutorial videos. And also, if you have any uh, issues and other problems with getting this to work, make sure to leave it in the comments. Um, I'm pretty good at replying back, and I'll see if I have a solution. There is a bunch of things that can go wrong with the compiler, um, so if this method did not work for you, then it's likely something else, and there's other fixes out there.
So thank you for watching.